good morning. <laughs> so we just checked out the hotel and yeah, we are now on the way to the south of Sri Lanka to Marissa to our last stop of our road trip here. Mm -hmm. We hope for some beach time and maybe also a little bit better weather there. But yeah, before we reach there, we have now three hours, three, a little bit more than three hours uh, road trip ahead. Yeah. Here we are. 15 minutes, less than 10 minutes of drive, we have to stop. That's why we say it's definitely more than 3 hours of drive to Marissa. Haven't Marissa. even get out of the no, car. No, we can't even get out. And then we got a free gift uh, with a uh, return. Have, but I don't have Marissa. Everyone now. <laughs> Everyone now. <laughs> can, 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 can also charge 100 rupees. <laughs> then can give them this. <laughs> okay, okay. Is that one Thank you. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Okay, Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Now halfway through to Marissa, I actually just realized that we are passing by a very familiar road that I drove like four years ago when me and my Indian colleague Mahant we went here actually to Sri Lanka to film for German TV a documentary about apparently the emptiest airport in the world. Um, so we took a flight from Colombo to here. So one of the previous presidents of Sri Lanka, he built that uh, airport here because he is from that region and they also had like actually agreements with China because they wanted to boost the tourism here in this region. So they built this airport, but there are actually no flights. I mean, I don't know the situation right now, but back then there was like one single flight from Colombo to here for every day uh, and it was like a super small jet for like eight to ten passengers and when we flew here back then in 2019 uh, me and my hand we were actually the only two passengers on this flight but the interesting thing is that it's actually an international airport so it is the second international airport in Sri Lanka but no international flights at all so yeah pretty cool that now four years later we are here again there is still some security check and we have to give them the passport for the airport we sit yeah it's okay. Environment here is so quiet, so peaceful. I can say the most peaceful airport in the world. That was our visit at the Matala Rajapaksa International Airport. Um, I mean, nothing really has changed from my last visit there four years ago. Um, still no flights. I also just checked it like uh, online if there are actually any flights and especially international flights since it is an international airport. But yeah, I couldn't find anything. Um, the one plane that you saw in the B-roll sequence now is like from a rich Egyptian guy. It's a private jet and it is like his sixth, seventh visit that like one of the airport stuff we met there, Chan, he told us that. Um, so I can understand he really likes Sri Lanka. We do it too, um, it is beautiful, 
but yeah, other than that, not much going on there, as you saw. Just a few school classes going there for a field trip. Uh, they even come from all over the place, the uh, airport stuff told us there. But other than that, I'm so overwhelmed with the kindness and hospitality of the people because, yeah, Mr. Chan uh, walked us around. He even arranged for Wendy the picture with the kids there. And also when we walked in, actually, there's like a security. And he first told us like we need to buy tickets. But then one went, once we walked out and wanted to buy the tickets, he actually said, ah, come in, just come in. So it is, it is crazy how kind and good-hearted the people here are. Um, I'm overwhelmed. Super, super nice. We made it to the Total Beach Resort in beautiful Marissa. Today we are very lucky. The weather is really amazing, um, temperature-wise and also sunny. Really cool for this uh, little beach town here of Marissa. We don't have much daylight left. That's uh, why I decided now just throw in everything here and then head out again. But one thing, as much as beautiful this resort is here, this room has literally more than a hundred mosquitoes like the first 15 minutes now i killed already like 52 mosquitoes there are like dead mosquitoes now everywhere my hands are hurting from clapping all the time and especially this bathroom here is infested with it very very hard to see but like on the on the ceiling here there are so many and everywhere flying around here i don't know i don't know what they did before you're closing it very fast but uh, it is terrible. <laughs> Finally a burger. After we reach Marisa. I need sandals. You need sandal because you are wearing shoes on the beach. Our photo session <laughs> at the uh, coconut tree hill but it's really like a, a beautiful place I mean also just having the view here uh, is amazing it's not all about the pictures um, because especially when you look out into the waves it is quite interesting how huge and big the waves here are
back in the Turtle Bay Resort uh, with a good ride to the secret beach. Had a little bit of an encounter there <laughs> when I flew the drone and wanted to take the shot of Wendy walking there to the beach. You saw it, there was a guy coming in. Stop right there, criminal scum! He complained that like he was in this very far shot, like the very sh first shot I took there, from very far away. He was in this shot, uh, he complained about it. I mean, I can understand, I don't want to say anything bad, but I can understand when people don't want to be in shots. But like this shot was about Wendy and like he was just like happening to be in the background. So no further comments from me. Um, I stopped it also after he complained it. The thing is just like how he did it. Um, he threatened me. He said like I either throw a rock on the drone or in your face. Ooh! So yeah, yeah. Um, I just took it down. Uh, I didn't say anything else. But yeah, this is uh, just so interesting because um, this is like for her it was very very surprising but for me it is not because like this is like a little bit of European culture uh, he said like he's from the UK yeah just interesting to see that and like here people are actually all the time wearing so for me it's not about this for me it was just like a, a good show show off for the difference between Asian culture and European culture why I actually like to stay here in Asia because people are way more chilled about things like that. That's how people perceive different perspective of life. Some people are just about complaining, complaining and some people just take life easy. Yeah, and that's why it is actually better to be in Asia. <laughs> And here we end another episode from Sri Lanka. It was a long, long day again. Um, good road trip from Ella to here to Marissa. Um, was really, really smooth everything. Like the whole journey so far, I can't complain. I don't know. It is going smooth as butter. It is really brilliant. Everything we experienced so far. Tomorrow is gonna be the last day. I hope it continues like that and with that being said i think we're gonna say good night here from marissa thanks for tuning in as always and see you in the next episode bye bye